Sometimes it's hard to care about skateboarding when you have so many other things on your mind. Like, what are you gonna do to make money? How are you gonna survive? And most of all, for me, the government's doing some crazy stuff, especially to children. And after watching a lot of documentaries, doing a lot of research on this stuff, it's more clear to me than ever that our government's doing some crazy stuff. I made a video about it, put it on my camera channel, and YouTube deleted it. They blamed Russia. They literally said something about Russia when the video had nothing to do with Russia. They blamed Putin. Putin did it. Putin took your video down. I don't know. I feel like Putin would want the video up. Sometimes I feel like with skateboarding, you really have to warm up before you start skating so you don't get hurt. So sometimes other sports, other activities, do a little warm up. Get your body moving in other ways. The best thing for skateboarders to do is probably play soccer. That really warms up your lower body. Also like just rock climbing or any kind of martial arts. Those guys are always really good at skateboarding. You ever notice people that are rock climbers, they're really thin, lightweight, muscular, or people who do martial arts are just really good at skating because they're really flexible. Do some stretching, some yoga. Go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, go for a swim, and come back to skateboarding because sometimes your muscles just need a break from skating. Skating is hard, and when skating is hard, do these things. Sometimes there's cracks right before the spot you're skating. You could take like a metal ruler, tape it over the crack or metal sign. You could keep a metal sign with you in the back of your car and some duct tape. You might look like a criminal, but it's probably worth it for skateboarding. Stretching definitely could help. I've really never stretched ever in my life, more than like 30 seconds. I think I stretched in PE class when I was in high school just a little bit, but I don't really remember ever doing it because I wanted to do it. That's not a good way to be. Don't be like me. Do what I say, not as I do. One thing that helps is really comfortable skate shoes and skate shoes that are broken in. For me, I like a shoe that's kind of thin and worn down more than a shoe that's really fresh. Sometimes I like a board like that too, but also occasionally having a board that's fresh with new pop definitely helps. So if your shoes are stiff, they're too hard to skate in, you can put them in the microwave or you can just kind of run in them, wear them around, stretch them out a little bit. I've definitely heard of people putting their skate shoes in the microwave. You wouldn't want to do that if there's little aluminum eyelets on there. Most skate shoes don't have aluminum eyelets, but I've actually seen some that do. Yeah, put your shoes in the microwave. Don't put your food in the microwave. It's probably not that good for you. So maybe you're doing the wrong kind of tricks. Maybe that's why skating is hard for you. Maybe you need to do slappy tricks. Don't ollie into stuff. Ollieing onto a ledge is like the roughest part of skateboarding that I do. Like it's the hardest on my body. Uh, sometimes I feel like just slappy nose slides it just feel so much better. I've got a video coming out soon called sloppy nose slides. It's not quite a slappy nose slide. It's a sloppy nose slide. So yeah, I'm trying to keep the trick tips in the shorts because trick tips are easy. I can get through them in one minute. And then I'm trying to do some different stuff for the long form content like this. So yeah, skate transition, skate curbs. If you're just feeling sore, there's different reasons people are burnt out on skating. It's just really hot out here for me. Sometimes I have to wait till the evening to actually skate well. When it is 96 degrees Fahrenheit outside, it's kind of hard to learn new tricks or skate well. I don't know how Chad Caruso did it. He learned a new trick every single day for 50 days in 50 different states when it was really hot outside. It, it's nice to not put yourself under stress for no reason because skateboarding's really not that important. It's playing with a child's toy. So everywhere I've gone today, people have been playing rap music really loud. You can kind of hear it playing over there in that parking lot. I was just at the skate park. And these two adult skateboarders were skating there, playing some loud rap music. It was like playing Murder on My Mind. I got Murder on My Mind or something while skating. And what is it about adult skateboarders where they always blame their age or how long they haven't been skating for. It's like, yeah, I haven't been on a board in 10 years. Then the other guy's like, well, I haven't even seen a board in 12 years. 
Everybody's got to like one up each other on how long it's been since they've been on a board. I understand that skateboarding can be a good thing. So skateboarding can definitely be therapeutic. And there are parents that see it as just, oh, those kids are going to skin their knees. I'm going to have to pay hospital bills. But it can save you therapy bills, which therapy bills could be more expensive in the long run than hospital bills. Because I've known a lot of people that have been in therapy since they were nine years old and now they're 25. So every time I make a video about Gifted Hater on this channel, I get the most ridiculous questions and comments from his fans. And I really genuinely feel sorry for them. Because some of them think that skateboarding is the only thing that matters. That would be a really sad universe to live in. And some of them just see him as God and his word as scripture. So skateboarding is great. And the great thing about skateboarding is that it doesn't matter. And that it is a total waste of time. That's the good thing about it. It's a great thing, it brings people together, it brings different communities together, but it shouldn't be the only thing in your life. You need other things. You can't just have one thing. I didn't really explain what I was talking about, about the gifted hater fans, fanboys. I guess you'll just have to scroll through my channel and find the videos on the internet and read all the comments and figure out what I'm talking about. It's like I'm complimenting the guy and yet they think I'm insulting him and then they go to defend him and then they also say stuff like, why don't you just kiss him? You know, like all oh, this, like what? What are you talking about? I talk about everything on this channel and I'm not gonna hold back, I'm not gonna censor myself and I don't care what anyone thinks. Skateboarders have got to stop getting into drugs every time I ask, so what happened to so and so? What happened to Corey? What happened to Sean? What happened to this person? Every single time it's, oh, you know, they got into some stuff. It got real bad. They got real sick. Like, every single time in these small towns. I have a rumble. I may have to make a Spotify podcast. They don't really censor things. Have you guys ever watched Eyes on the Rights podcast on Spotify? She does a great job. Now it's time for the more random part of this video. Don't eat lab-grown meat. Get your meat from a real animal. That's gonna help you skate better. And if you're a vegan because you think that you're saving animals by being a vegan, then you are a hypocrite because way more animals are killed when you're growing plants. When you're growing crops like plants, use pesticides to kill tons of different animals and you have to kill literally everything that comes into your field but i'm not an expert on it but they definitely kill way more animals growing a field of plants than a field of cows that they're going to slaughter another reason i just feel so sorry for gifted haters fans the ones that watch my videos and comment on them at least is they just waste so much money on clothing no brand matters no brand matters of course you shouldn't wear balenciaga or like an obvious evil brand but besides cutting out those obvious like evil evil brands we should all just make our own clothes at this point I feel like there are good people in the world, but those people don't have electricity. They don't have Facebook. <laughs> That's why you don't see them, because they're all Amish or Mennonites. So yeah, I feel sorry for them because they're trapped. Some of them listen to pop music, and I watched that Taylor Swift video, Karma, that came out recently, and it was the most satanic thing I've ever seen. They use the cat to represent Lucifer. She had a mask of Satan. She said karma was her god and karma was a guy. Karma is this evil idea that if you do good things, good things happen to you in this world. And if you do bad things, bad things happen to you in this world. It's against the Bible. The Bible says that, you know, bad times fall on the good and the evil. It basically speaks directly against that in Job. The whole video was just about manifesting you know kind of like the new age movement where you can actually manifest something into reality and it was all about worshiping yourself like you becoming your own god the language was absolutely
absolutely insane. Taylor Swift talks like a sailor now. She used to be this country girl, like small town girl imagery. Now she's like this satanic goddess. Any music that's about loving yourself or self-help, it always goes back to Satanism. Satanism isn't worshiping some guy with horns. Satanism is worshiping yourself and putting yourself first. That's what Anton LaVey and all Satanists believe. Most of them don't even actually believe in Satan. So it wasn't as bad as Demi Lovato's video, the pro-abortion video. That one was insane. That was graphic and disgusting. I'm not gonna go into detail, but it was an extremely selfish video about murdering babies because you wanna do whatever the blank you want to. If you guys watched The Sound of Freedom, it actually did really well its first week. I don't know if I fully trust them, but at least it's getting the message out there. It's showing people that this actually does exist in the world and that trafficking is a bigger industry than the airplane industry worldwide. So yeah, it was a good movie. I would suggest seeing it. It was a thriller and it was exciting. It actually kept my attention. Most movies just put me straight to sleep. Some people say it's based on conspiracy theories, but it's actually based on a true story. So them saying that it's based on conspiracy theories just makes you feel like it's even more true than true. Kids start out on TikTok. They get a little older, they move up to Instagram. And then they get older, they become adults, and I guess they move over to Twitter and start talking about politics. Because when you're a kid, politics don't really matter. There might be that one guy you don't like on Instagram, but then when he grows up and becomes a politician and he starts making decisions that affect your life and cause your life to be harder, then you move over to Twitter so you can talk bad about him or talk directly to him. So yeah, pray for young skaters, pray for gifted haters fans, they definitely need it. So number one, the most important thing you can do with your time right now is to shed light on the child trafficking industry. I could actually get behind some of the causes that young people care about, like cleaning the ocean, that's a good cause. But it's not the most important cause because people are not just a parasite on the surface of the earth. That earth is sending storms as antibodies to delete. People are more important than the earth itself. Life is more important because there are thousands of earth-like planets, but we've never seen life anywhere else. Life is more rare than the earth, so it's more valuable. Just like how gold is rare and dirt is not as rare so gold is more valuable than dirt yeah just spend your time on the things that matter because there's a lot of things that people waste a lot of time on they protest for it and they're things that they don't even matter and don't even affect people but the child trafficking that's a real thing that affects a lot of people it's a huge industry and it's probably the worst problem in the world so yeah if you want to see more how-to videos check out my shorts i'm putting a lot of them in the shorts now because it just feels right for how-to videos so yeah the next video i'll probably stay on topic a little bit better i got off topic on this video but i think it's important to get off topic in skateboarding videos because you have to come to the realization that skateboarding is not that important it's really not. There's got to be other things in your life. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because i got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.